Hello everyone and welcome to another DDR video. I'm showing you this beginning here because I chose the wrong speed mod and just quit on it. <laughs> See, I'm playing Boss Rush X and uh, one of the main challenges of it is that you gotta play wrong with something. Speed mod. Yeah, you gotta play with something that you can actually pass all five songs on and the BPM ranges are pretty nutters. Trigger is up to 400, and there's other stuff that you would probably prefer to play at two or three times the speed, like Horatio here. So playing them at a lower speed mod is more like a reading test than anything, per se. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean here. It's Even at 1.5, it's a little tricky. And I'm, I'm hitting a little bit too fast. That's why I'm getting off-timed at the ending portion of these little drills. <laughs> it's a lot easier to feel out when you have a higher speed mod, so... I, it feels like I'm really flailing through a lot of this. <laughs> Just because I find it awkward to feel out, because I don't have that visual speed reference like I usually do. But hey, I got hamster pirates, I'm happy. <laughs> Haven't you missed the hamster pirates? I sure have. <laughs> so yeah, you know Horatio, I've, I've, I've shown you how to pass this song before. I'm getting a little bit lax here on the slow parts though, even though I shouldn't be. I'm trying to conserve energy more than anything though, because I know I'm in for a long, long battle until the end, because I got five songs to deal with here. Four of them are 15 or higher. <laughs> this one's a 15. Uh, the next one is more like a break than anything. Alright, for these ending runs, just try and stay on sync as best you can and try and feel it out, no matter how awkward it may look because of how tight the arrows are together, and yeah, it's just like the rest of it. I'm reading to my 1.5. <laughs> yeah, you should be fine as long as you... I wanted to try it on 1.0? Wow. As long as you feel out that sort of speed. So you might want to play Horatio just like on a regular run at two times two or times three speed so that you know what you're feeling out. And uh, on the break here, you've never seen me play before. I was I thought about playing this as a solo song, you know, before I actually upload Boss Rush X, but I figured, eh, this is easy enough that I don't really have to do that, I think. <laughs> Uh, in this beginning portion, I'd say your biggest nemesis are these step jumps, or it's like a jump, step, jump, where there's, you know, a step right in the middle. Watch out. Peek again! Don't get lax wiping the sweat off your forehead, dang it! <laughs> it was, you knew it was gonna speed back up there, and you decided, I ain't gonna wipe the sweat off. Well, like, I mean, I guess maybe it helped me a little bit, but... <laughs> I mean, who knows how many I would miss if I got sweat in my eyes. And this, this, yeah, those leading into the jumps are pretty awkward, but then you get into this slowdown, which is probably even more awkward in some aspects. And I get really la lax on that as well, which I end up laughing at, but I'm really, really trying to play it smoothly so I can conserve my stamina. So I'm not really trying super hard to move my feet all that fast, if, if that makes sense, even though I'm, I kind of have to. <laughs> See, my main goal here is just trying to survive the whole thing rather than trying to get a good score, just to see if I can survive it, and to my surprise, I was able to pull it off despite uh, all the trials and tribulations like going song. on. <laughs> yeah, it literally feels like, like literally a... literally taking a break. Yeah. <laughs> on the break, literally feels like a break compared to the rest of these. Now, here's where it gets serious. Yeah, on the bounce at 1.5... This chart's tricky enough on its own, even when I play it on times three, but playing at 1.5 speed, oh, everything's gonna be packed together, and I'm gonna just probably try double stepping everything. <laughs> and a little gallop screen here, which flows together pretty nicely, and you can feel that all pretty easily, even on the slower speed, because they're, you know, it's, it's all like a, a whole line of stuff going on there, so it's not like a cluster of stuff spaced apart. It's, yeah. But th th that doesn't mean that it's gonna be the whole song. Oh, no, no, no. The whole song is just like, like, like a struggle in reading for me. Hence why I'm missing so much of this stuff. <laughs> 
And as you can tell on my shirt there, well, most of the shirt, my pocket's still pretty dry because it's two layers of fabric that I've been playing for a while, so I'm already kind of tuckered out too. <laughs> That's another reason why I'm playing super stamina conservative here, but I realized I'm in the danger there, so then I started pounding me out at the jumps like I would normally do to try and get my dance gauge back up to par, which I'm successfully doing to an extent here. It's like whenever I see my dance gauge getting into the danger zone, I start pouring in a little bit more like I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, but yeah, as you can also tell, there's a lot of crossovers going on that I'm just not doing. That's another thing that's a part of my stamina conservation strategy. Like I could have crossed over oh, so many times yeah. in there. So I'm dripping everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but I opted not to do so, especially since I'm having trouble reading it. But, uh, yeah, another thing, just like I said about Horatio, is that to get the feel of it, you might want to play it solo, you know, just with the, with the proper speed mods so that you can feel it out a little better. And since I'm feeling fatigued here, despite playing Saber Wing, Akira, Ishihara, Headshot, Remix, on the proper speed, I am, uh, yeah, I'm not doing super well. <laughs> Except maybe on these slower parts. And there's like a little figure eight type candle pattern, a little gallops, a couple of gentle streams, not that big of a deal or anything like that. Only I'm still kind of flubbing up because of my... but I need it because of my stamina. But yeah, I hit those step jumps like they are nothing. <laughs> I can't explain it. <laughs> it just... I guess it's the feeling of fatigue and that you just don't know. But yet, another thing that's weird is that my dance gauge is already back at max. So I'm not really flubbing that much. It's just a lot of goods thrown into the mix to make me break my combo and stuff. <laughs> More than anything. So yeah, I'm gonna get into this stuff, which crosses over every which way, and I'm trying to do my best to double step it. And I know I need to pour a lot into this, so I'm not holding anything back here. It's just very tricky to pull off those streams. <laughs> and the ending isn't really much better in that regard. Not not this is what I'm talking about. This is pretty straightforward here. This right here <laughs> just stacks oh. crossover on top of crossover. All right, final song trigger. You've seen me do a 15, then a 13, then a 16. I can do this. And then a 17, and now let's finish with an 18. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm dead tired. So this is IMO, a pretty good achievement to play when you're this tuckered out. <laughs> you know, to pass something like this when you're this tuckered out. And how did I hit all those in that figure eight candle type pattern? I don't know. <laughs> it worked out though. And uh, I don't understand why I can do the jumps at this speed, but I have difficulties with Fascination Eternal Love Mix. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because I have a, uh, because uh, I'm chaining more of them together in F-E-L-M. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's just go back to our crossover and jump haven here. It's straight, the, the trigger is actually a pretty straightforward song overall. It's just that the speed mods, I'm playing it at 1.5 and I prefer times one. <laughs> So I'm, I'm kind of reacting to stuff a little bit quicker than what I would be comfortable with. And, like, you'll notice that I was able to do any sort of those pauses like that because I know how the pauses are. And if you know the song as well, I know you'll be able to feel that out as well, regardless of your speed mod, because you'll be able to tell which arrow is coming up next as it's coming. But when it's in the super speedy portions, that, that's gonna... It's, yeah... This is this song is why I initially tried to do it on one times one speed throughout, even though I yeah. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Yeah! Cheesing for the win! <laughs> I can't believe I cleared it actually. <laughs> I came so close. To losing there on trigger a bunch of times. Because of my stamina lowering? But I made it through all five. That was quite a test. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.